Hello everybody, I am Dhanvi Nopal and today we will be solving the ear fall self noise problem from scratch. We will be going through all the model selection and we will be doing some little EDA and so let's get started. This is a pretty basic problem. I will just head to my Jupyter notebook. I will create a new IPYNB file. Um, uh, let me just rename this to self noise and firstly we need to do our imports as usual uh, I have actually started the Jupyter notebook from a terminal so that's what we need to do and yes let's get started so firstly I'm just gonna import pandas as pd and import numpy as np and yes also, uh, uh, you need to actually download this data set. So, go to the data folder. Just click on this and you're going to get this airfoil self noise dot dat. Just click on it and it's going to download and just take it to the directory from which you need to, which, from which you have opened your uh, Jupyter notebook. Okay. And once you have it right there, you are good to go. Uh, so basically pandas is imported good I'm just gonna say df is equal to pd dot read csv uh, okay the autocomplete is not working so I think I'll need to type it okay and separator uh, if you see the data set you need to basically use a tab select uh, separator for this data set um, and the header is going to be none so if we just do df.head you are going to see that this is the data set it has these 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 features and you now need to relabel this because uh, we don't want this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 features of course we want proper features so I am going to put this in the description for you guys uh, df.columns and these are all the columns that we are going to use. And then if we do df.head, we shall see that the df looks way better now. Now you need to see if there are any null uh, very, uh, null features. So it shows that there are no null features. So we are good to go. Uh, now we'll just do, uh, now we'll just set up the x and y x is equal to df dialog pretty basic pandas um, so and y is equal to df dot log minus one right and now we do if we do x dot head we'll see that we have everything other than pressure level and if we do y dot head okay why is y dot head not working okay i renamed it wrong we do y dot head. We see that we only have pressure level, so that's good. Now uh, we'll do some graphing, and before that, let's just do train test split. I'll just do from sklearn dot model selection. Uh, from sklearn dot model selection, import train test split. Actually, I'm just pressing tab on my keyboard and waiting for it to be there, but somehow uh, autocomplete is not working. So, we are just doing train test split right here. We'll call the function and then we'll say x, y, test size. Um, this could be your choice, but we'll use 0 0.33 as a test size. And our random seed will be basically, uh, random state will be basically 42. You can use any random state, but just for a convention. So, we have done the train test split. So, now we'll do the graphing part. So, I'll just put a markdown right here. Graphing, just to see a little bit of how the data set looks like. So I'll just import um, Seaborn as SNS, SNS dot pair plot. 
uh, x print and if we now see uh, basically ss minus dot pair plot takes a little bit time to appear but uh, let's just wait for it to be done let me just pause the video and i'll be back once this is done and yes the sns dot pair plot function has been executed and these are all of our pair plots so we see the frequency uh, we see our velocity suction side you can take or uh, understand the uh, data set from here you can get an idea uh, but now let's move to the model selection part so i'll just put a markdown right again uh, training and testing the model now it will be good if you uh, see the outliers as well using box plot but uh, i don't have like we'll just quickly move to the training and testing part so firstly we'll use linear regression uh, and from what we'll do is from sklearn dot model selection import cross val score right uh, once we have cross val score we'll also need to import linear regression just like that from sklearn dot model selection import linear linear regression oops wrong spelling regression and then we'll do lin uh, lin regressor equals linear regression will basically say msc is equal to cross cross val score and uh, will put the linear regressor right here and will also use x train and y train will set the scoring to be negative mean absolute error i hope i'm not going uh, fast so uh, and then cv is equal to 5 so we are basically using cross well score to evaluate this and then what we'll do is we'll say mean msc is equal to np dot mean of msc and then we'll print the mean msc like that so let's just see if we miss anything cannot import name linear regression what's wrong let's just see linear regression mm -hmm. oh oops this is not from model selection this is from linear model and i think now it should work perfectly okay it doesn't work perfectly that's the guys got an key got an unexpected keyword score uh, okay it's scoring really sorry for that uh, yeah now we have got a scoring just like that we got a pretty good score uh, is that just a coincidence or okay we'll just move forward uh, i would like to see what's why this is happening but okay as we move last time i trained it with linear regression the scoring that i got was around 23 and now i'm surprised that why am i getting such a good scoring minus 23 that was okay i trained it numerous times but i think this is what the scoring is so we'll just leave it like that so then we'll move to rigid regression and it's just the same thing other than the part that we'll use from sklearn dot linear model import ridge uh, we'll also need grid search cv for this one from sklearn dot model selection import grid search cv okay we have it ridge is equal to ridge creating the model pretty good 
and then I'll copy this so this would take a while Th these are just random values for the alpha if they could be any values but you can use this and then we'll see ridge regressor equals grid search cv and then we'll use our ridge regressor model we'll set the scoring to be neg mean squared error oh that's what now i realize i use absolute error here and we have to use squared error so yeah now i think it's fine but Neg mean squared error CV is equal to 5 again and ridge regressor equal a dot fit X train and Y train. Uh, then we could just print this uh, like ridge regressor dot best score. Not this score. Um, in it where I am grid. So where did I miss that? Grid scoring is equal to. Just a second. Let me just see what's wrong. Okay. So we need to pass the parameters. Right now. It's not defined. Wrong spelling. Sorry for that, guys. Um, now the module is training. Okay. Why am I making so many errors today? Now, we, this should be trained. So let's just see the score. This is pretty much very similar. So we'll move forward. Now we need to train the lasso regression. Um, the same way, I'll copy what I did previously. So I'll just import lasso rather than ridge and I'll just say lasso equals lasso uh, lasso equals oops lasso equals lasso from right here parameters gonna be same lasso regression neg mean squared arrow x train y train we're gonna name this lasso regressor lasso regressor oops right now let's use lasso regressor and this should be trained so this is going to give us few errors but you can ignore these because these are like i think some silence errors um yeah we got a pretty similar score so i think um ridge lasso and linear are giving a very similar score but I'm going to use a model from which I have a lot of expectations and that is the random forest regressor. Uh, so let's use the random forest regressor now. I think my personal favorite is the random forest regressor. But as a data scientist, you can never have a personal favorite model. And you should not. Because you should be neutral to all the models. Because you don't never know which model would perform nicely from sklearn.model selection let's import cross y score um, and what I'm gonna do is this is what I'm gonna copy right like that just like that and then we're gonna name this random forest regressor random forest regressor and okay and then msc is equal to we'll just take this i'm going to copy paste uh, and i think that should be it let's just run this and this should train the model and let's see how well random forest performs mm, okay let's train okay we got a pretty good score we got a minus four that means um, accuracy is very high. So I think uh, I'll be using a random forest. So what we'll do 
is I am going to basically now do some plotting just to show you how our models are performing. So plotting results. So just a second. So before plotting, you need to basically fit these models properly like that. So that's the same thing basically. So just hit enter and this should just train all the models for you. And after they are trained, you can make predictions and then we'll plot. So, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I made a mistake. This is random for a regressor. I messed up the spelling. Um, so, actually, I think the lasso regressor takes the most time to train. The lasso regressor and the random forest regressor. Yup, now we have trained our models and now let's, we know already that random forest regressor performs the best but we need to make predictions and we need to uh, show that using plots. So I'm gonna just make predictions using our models. So random forest regressor dot predict and that's it that predicts it and we're gonna now go to seaborn and we're gonna just use displot so c uh, bond or displot y test minus prediction linear so this is for a linear regression model uh, it has quite a error so now let's just do that the same thing for lasso prediction lasso and yes this is also going to plot this too has a lot of errors so prediction underscore ridge and i think the ridge and the no, random forest models look pretty good actually um, the ridge model when plotting uh, compares against the random forest even so i think the best performers were the ridge and the random forest but definitely we're gonna take the random forest um not by the model but by the data and how accurate it seems but before that we could do um um we uh, basically we could do um a prediction and do cross evaluation just to see how well it performs on our test data so let's do that now so let's just see I'll just create a new markdown cell to mark this as testing models. So we'll test all our models. So what I'm going to say is a um, lin regressor. Wait, well, I think the command was lin regressor dot score x test and y test. So it performed pretty poorly. So Let's try the lasso regressor, hopefully. Though we know the best performers, let's yet see how well. Okay, lasso regressor perform really bad. Let's just see for the ridge 2, ridge regressor. Okay, so I what ridge regressor was going to be our best performer but i think it's the worst performer now let's go for the random forest regressor huge expectations um let's score x test and y test so we got a 93 percent accuracy out of all these bad accuracies i think this is pretty good so we'll of course have to finalize this model and now we can just uh, basically we can save this model so i'm gonna make another markdown cell and save model so i'm gonna say import pickle we could use joblet but we're gonna use pickle for this i'm gonna say pickle dot dump we're gonna dump the model and uh, just save it for next time or uh, maybe you want to use it for a presentation or you want to use it for something like um deployment 
model.pkl and we'll use wb and yep this should uh, save the model if we go to our job and notebook file we do have our pickle model right here i'll just import pickle and pickle dot load uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say pickle um pickle model is equal to pickle dot load random uh not random for us requester it's basically open model dot pkl the same thing but we're gonna do it in read mode this time and we're gonna say pickle model dot score for x test and write h we need not do this but i'll just do that um, this shows an error okay surprising let's just see why that is there okay not right yeah. And we need a comma, and we get 93% 90, accuracy. So, finalized model random forest regressor. Uh, now, you guys can do some hyperparameter tuning, you guys can do EDA, you can do a lot more on this, but this was just a basic idea on how to solve a ML problem. We are not doing it completely end to end, and end to end problem would require a lot of time, and we need to do a lot of PDA as well but yeah we have solved the problem and if you like the video please like subscribe and hit the bell icon and thanks for watching and have a good day bye